Thomas pulling away over the Just months after trans trailblazer Leah Thomas made history in the pool. Thomas wins the NCAA championship. The first transgender woman to win an NCAA Division I female title is learning her goal of competing in the women's category at the Olympics won't happen. Very important moment for us. Swimming's world governing body voting today to look at creating a new category to include trans women. It is a policy that is based on science. Starting Monday, transgender competitors in women's races must have completed their transition by the age of 12. That's the time at which males really cement their advantage. They Developmental biologist Emma Hilton says puberty brings a surge of testosterone for males that medications later on cannot even out. These small changes that happen to transgender women when they suppress testosterone aren't enough to uh, create kind of equality with the female body. Some fear the rule may unduly accelerate important decisions. The fact that individuals have to um, transition before that point, which is not always typical for children to transition that early. But multiple female Olympic medalists race to call this a positive step. Prioritizing the competitive cornerstone of fairness. However, it is also my hope that a young, gender-diverse child can walk into a swimming club and feel the same level of acceptance. Queer sports advocates condemned the decision as discriminatory and harmful. In a statement to CBC News, the American LGBTQ group Athlete Ally said the new policy will not be enforceable without seriously violating the privacy and human rights of any athlete. This move from the world of swimming comes as at least 18 U.S. states are taking steps to ban or limit transgender sports participation. Chris Glover, CBC News, Washington.